guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna be using some new products. I'm going to be using some new products. I'm going to be, I'm going to be using some new products and <laughs> I'm going to be using new products and I'm gonna be testing out the Tarte Make Believe palette and the Magical Wands Unicorn Heart brush set as well as some other new things so yeah I got this look and it's very pretty very sparkly um, very majestic and magical and um, everybody wants to feel like a unicorn and every girl believes in make-believe so this was such a fun tutorial to do and the review was great and um, I'd like for you guys to watch now Okay, so first I'm going to use the Too Faced RX Hangover. Come a little closer in that. Okay, first I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX to prime my face. I might need that. <laughs> it's not long enough. I'm applying it with a foundation brush just so it goes on with no oil for my fingers. Okay. Next, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my first time trying it. I'm using a Tarte Buki Brush by Nicole Concilio's collection. She collabed with them. Make sure that's all blended in. You look like a doll. You can go over it with a little bit of padding motion with your Tarte or any kind of beauty blender. Just make sure that there's no edges that aren't blended or spots. Okay. Then we're going to Go in with our okay. It's fine, I can cut it. So um, I, did, I did foundation, I did primer. Should do I do you need eyes the glitter and then glue? do no, you can't use the glitter glue. So do I do the eyes first and then the contour mm -hmm. or should I do Contour first and then the eyes. Eyes first and then contour. Because okay. when you contour, you can take off that excess that comes off the edge and stuff. Okay, so after. Mm -hmm. Now that the face is primed and our foundation is set, now I'm going to show you guys the new Tarte collection. And these are their Unicorn Magic Wand brushes. And this is their Make Believe palette. And I will open that so you guys can see. And there's Crystal, Pixie, Myth, Magic, Wings, Marvel, Trance, Fairy, Mystic, and Dream. And then there is a white highlight, kind of white color, 
that you can use as like either a highlight or like an inner eye. Okay. And then your transition color. And myth right in the very top right there, myth. And it is your transition shade for the whole palette. The palette's mostly like um, glitters and then the myth is a transition shade. Okay. So we're gonna make a very colorful, very magical um, look today, starting with this palette. First we're going to use myth and we're going to set the eye. Transition that eye. Should I zoom in? Yeah, I should. No. Oh. It, it's good. You can see it, I'm sure. Barely. Okay, you can zoom in. So you take that myth color and you just transition and put it right in your crease. So far it's going on very smooth and it's not looking patchy or anything like that. Okay. Then I'm going to use the color I'm thinking Mystic and that's a little blue color um, next to the turquoise color. Uh, Mystic, which is the blue color next to the turquoise color. And I'm going to use that. Do you want to wipe for your thing? I'm going to put that all over the lid. It's focusing on your tart palette. All over the lid. I'm gonna do that for both sides. Okay, then I'm going to take the color Dream, which is right next to Mystic, and I'm going to put that in my crease. Very blue, intense color. If we mess up, we can always clean that up at the end. Okay. And then we're going to, at the top of our eye, we're going to use the color Pixie, which is right next to the transition shade. All right. Pixie, which is right next to the transition it's not shade. Focusing. You're too close. Remember I zoomed in? 
Pixie, right which is right next to the transition shade. Say it one We're more using time. Pixie, which is right next to the transition shade. Shoot that right above the blue just to intensify the color of the pigmentation. I'm even going to use my finger for this part because it's a very pretty, like, pink shimmer. Okay, then I'm going to use my shape tape. I'm going to do like a halo effect, middle of my eye. I'm just going to apply it and then smear it out with a brush or my finger. My finger works best. This part, I'm just going to apply that and smear it out. Does it look good? Yeah, I'm putting you out of focus. Okay. And then I did that. And then... Okay. After that, I'm going to take the lid brush. Too close. I the the lid unicorn brush for your lid. And I'm going to use the color Fairy, which is the purpley color. And I'm going to pack that on top of my lid. On top of the Tarte Contour Concealer Shape Tape. Move your palette. Okay. Wow, it looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it up close and personal yet? Mm -hmm. They can't though. Why do you keep getting closer to the mirror? I don't know. I was just looking. They can. They can't see it. No, they can. But you keep looking in the mirror and putting the palette in front of your face. Can you see now? Yeah, but move your palette. Okay. And then we're gonna put a little bit more of the dream in the crease to darken it up. A bit more of the dream. It's wet. It should be wet. That's fine. Okay, and then we're going to just wait till we look at the camera and say it. Now we're going to use um now we're going to use a Nope, don't say it yet. Now, now we're going to use a bullet brush by Tarte. 
Okay, sorry, Sean. It's hard. This is really. I know. Hard. I zoomed in. Baby, but this is really hard. You gotta give me patience. I know. You don't have to go that far. I said. I, I said, don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm. I, this is just, really hard. Just right here. Now I'm gonna use mm -hmm. a bullet brush by Tarte. And you gotta wait like a second after I'm done talking. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a bullet brush by Tarte. And I'm going to use the color Marvel, which is like a yellow shimmery color. I'm going to take that gold yellow shimmery color and I'm going to just use it in the top and the side of my eye to brighten that color up. Love your palette. Does it look crazy? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm just gonna clean the, the blanket because it has to be dry. It's dry now. And I'm gonna use that white shimmery color in the center to do the inner corner of my eye. Your palette. And above my brow. Below your brow. Below my brow. So I can do that last. I'm not going to do that now. Okay. Okay. I need you to go off camera now. For what? Because I have to do my eyebrows, so just stop the camera. So, I did my brows offline, and that's okay. So now we're going to go straight into finishing the makeup. And... Since this is a magical video, I did my brows magically in two seconds. So, now we're going to finish the video and I'm going to use Mystic and Dream again. But I'm going to darken up the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to use Mystic and Dream again and darken up the corner of my eye. Okay, now we're going to contour the face Wait. using shape tape like everybody else knows. Cannot live without this. So we're going to contour and highlight the face. Putting on my warrior stripes here for sure. All right. Perfect. And I have a surprise. I'm using the. 
I'm using the Hoola Benefit Contour Stick with this video and I'm really excited because it's my first time using it. So we're going to take our, this has to be damp, will you go damp that for me? Yeah, give me a second. I'm using my damp tart blender. Beauty blender. I'm using my damp tart beauty blender to blend all this out. And this also will take care of any harsh edges for the eye eye makeup. I'm just gonna blend this out while we highlight the face. Move your palette down there. How's it look on camera? Looks great. I'm gonna do it here with this side because I'm not left handed, so it's hard. I'm gonna mess up the makeup. Shit. You're fine, you're adding black there. Hmm? You're adding your liner, aren't you? Wing, wing thingy. Looks good. And fixed any edges that were messed up, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. I'm excited for this. Why? To see your holographic stuff. Me too. Move your palette. Don't forget, you just have to do your nose. Mm -hmm. Your cheeks, and then when you contour, you go up. You don't blend it in okay, circles. But now I need to. I need to use Tarte concealer, or should I use Bare Minerals concealer for pimples and stuff? Oh, like. use that. You can take this out of the video because I don't want this in there. That's fine. Mustache. I'm not putting that in the video. It's weird. Wow, your skin. Hmm. It's like a baby's butthole when it poops. How does that look? Wow. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to use... I already said that right, didn't I? Mm hmm Okay. Now I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Stick. But first... I have to bake that under eye. And this is the Kat Von D setting powder, translucent. They, they say that you lock set, it. You set the contour in the under eye when you finish contouring. You yeah, set it's called it. bake. Yeah, after That's you're done. That's what this is. Oh, baby, you don't. Mm. It's just this. I watch tons and tons of videos. I know. Okay, now I gotta start over. Okay. 
Now that we've done our contour and we've blended everything out, we're going to bake and lock it in with Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, and this is my first time trying this as well. It still has the plastic on it, so I'm going to put a little bit in the top lid. It's not okay to laugh at me. I'm not laughing at you. Well, that wasn't easy to come out. I'm going to put this under our eyes to bake that in. Looks like I've been up to no good. Okay, might need a little bit more. I don't bake my whole face, then that's okay. So, now we're gonna use the contour hula stick. Comes in a gold tube, very cute. Talking about the lines and the dots. You're making me uncomfortable. I'm helping you. I know. Who cares about the lines and dots? They I just do. do a line. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Nobody watches my stuff anyway. You're going to get a lot of viewers after your unicorn. Okay. And I'm going to use the hula stick, and it goes from cream to powder. So I'm going to use a little bit of a lot. So contour the nose. And then the forehead, and the cheek, and the chin. Alrighty, that looks fun. I'm take my beauty blender, and I'm going to blend that out. And since it goes from a cream to a powder, it's very pigmented, but it also looks natural. Does it look good? Yeah, you could use your contour brush, your new one. I will. So this side, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. All right. I'm going to use the Tarte Unicorn. I'm going to use the Tarte Unicorn brush contour to make it look less intense but more natural. And I'm going to use it over here to do the initial blend. And it's very pretty the first time I'm looking at it now. Contour that neck. You do not want to look like you have a huge neck. Contour it. Okay, contour the nose. Brush is very soft, but it's very like sturdy. It's like perfect for all of this. this and I'm going to contour I'm going to bring it up and contour that That one looks better 
gonna take my BB blender and just get the extra and contour that. Does it look good, Sean? Does mm -hmm. it look even? Blend out your uh, left side by your ear. There you go. Because it looks like it just stopped. It looks too thick, doesn't it? You can put... Being mad. God, I'm getting mad. Calm down. No, because you can't restart it, so it looks bad on camera. Looks better. Okay. I'm going to take the Tarte um, loose powder brush and I'm going to sweep that away where we set and baked our face. This brush is so soft. I feel like a true unicorn. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to take the palette again and we're going to take the brush, smudge brush for the lid. I'm going to use the colors Dream and Fairy. First I'm going to use Mystic on the bottom that in my waterline and my put that on my lower lash line it's the color mystic and we'll put that one on my lower lash line These colors transfer so well. I love the fun colors. Wow, that side looks really bad compared to that side. Look at that side mm -hmm. and look at that side. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't understand. I did the same thing for all of it. Are you able to open that one? I have a what, Sean? Stop. Add a line of conceal or whatever. No, it doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. There, that looks better. Mm -hmm. That side looks bomb, and that side's just... Did you blend that side up? No, but I can because there's still some on the brush. Does it look good now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it flows now. Huh? Flows now. Okay, now I'm going to take the color Dream and I'm going to put that in the corner to smoke out that lower lash line. I'm going to take the color Fairy again, which is that purpley color, and I'm going to do that on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take my bullet brush again and I'm going to put the white color in my inner corner on both the top and the lower lash. Perfect. 
Then I'm going to take this drugstore Beauty Fatigue color in turquoise and as an eyeliner and I'm going to line my waterline. So it's a very blue, very pretty color. Purple sparkly stuff, Sean. Okay, Let's see if it's good. done. Okay. Is it done? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to use a where's the lid? I'm going to use a purple eyeliner and I'm going to give myself a majestic magical wing. Nope, oh, where are you going? Well, I can't do this on camera, Sean. This is hard and I'm getting makeup all over my shirt. That's fine. What's on? What's fine? I'm going to make sure this is hard enough. It's not. breaking off. <sighs> I messed up the whole look. You didn't mess up the look, baby. Stop. I did, though. Okay, you don't have to do that today, then. I know you wanted I'm to. I'm taking it back and it's telling me what happened to it. Dude, she's black. Now I have a purple wine, though. How you can cover I... it with the black, baby. Black's going over top of it. Where's my let me go get it. Yeah. Alright, let me stop this because you're at. Guys! Ah. <laughs> so <Nope>. I just. <laughs> there you go. So I magically just did my eyelashes and my wing off camera like that because this is a magic video. And so now I'm going to take my bullet point brush and I'm going to use that white color and I'm going to go below my brow, above my eye, just to give it some highlight. Not that we don't have enough sparkles as it is. You can never have enough sparkles, shimmer, magical colors. There's that. And then I'm going to use it to contour my nose. Because this is the eye and cheek palette. So this is a very light natural highlight but we don't want natural so that's just going to be a base for what we're about to do next it's very shimmery very magical your lip I'm going to put some on my lip on my chin Wow. In my eyebrow area. We'll smear that out with a brush. Give ourselves some glow. A little bit above my eyebrow area. And more of my nose. I didn't hit record. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Keep going. All right. And that is good for now. And then we're going to take our finger and we're going to put some on our cheek. And along the side of our forehead area above our cheek and just smear that all in. Move this. There you go. Our cheek. 
and around our forward area, around our cheek, and just smear that all in. Okay, and that's going to be our base because I have a sample of the new milk and it is called the Milk, again, yes, M-I-L-K Makeup Holographic Highlight Stick, but I have a sample to see if I like it. So I'd like to see if you guys like it as well, and I'm going to dip my finger in it. Ooh, it's very pigmented. Okay. And I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Wow! Now we're getting to become a real unicorn. It's very pigmented. I love it. I'm gonna have to go back and get it. Oh my God, so pretty. Holy moly. Can you guys see that? It's like a very holographic, like purpley, blue, white color. It's like super unicorn. Majestic. Wow. 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 Can't forget the other cheek. Mm hmm. You like it? Mm hmm. I'm going to put it all over. And. I think the stick, it has better precision, precision, uh, whatever it's precision. called. Precision. Yeah, that. And we're going to put some up here to highlight that. Nose area. Just for the nose. Wow. Lips. area the wowzers okay this is nice okay sweet I love it do all that now we're going to take some glitter now we're going to take some glitter and a regular lipstick and we're gonna see what we can do here. Wait, moisturize your lip with the glam glow. I could probably use this in just the glitter. You could, because okay. it's a matte, whatchamacallit, How do I moisturizer. Open it? Here, Sean, open it. You like it? What? Your stuff. Hi, oh, baby. You're in a video though. Oh, I can edit it. I can't get it open. Mm. It smells good. Alright. Now I'm using my sample of my Glam Glow. And I'm going to use a lippy brush. I'm going to put that on my lips. Some moisturizer balm. Ooh, it smells good. Cause we gotta moisturize those lips. Moisturize those lips. You can skip this part. Like, mm -hmm. you can make it go faster.
has like almost like a fruity pebble smell and like a coconutty smell. Thanks. I'll taste good though. I wanted to eat some. Alrighty. So now that that's done, should I use lipstick now? Or should I yeah, use if you want, or you can use glitter. It's up to you. We'll see how the glitter looks first, and then we'll see. Mm -hmm. That's cute. What do you think the pink? No, that looks better. Well, if you put the lipstick on, the stuff might actually stick to the lipstick, so you don't have to worry about eating it throughout the day. No, because it turned pink. No, no. I can just do. Okay. Or, or should I do lipstick, I think? Hmm. That looks cute. You could just keep that. Okay, so after I did the lip balm, I am adding just loose glitter, and this is like a purpley blue glitter. And it's just gonna stick to the balm. Looks cute. You got some on like top of your lip, but you can, yeah, brush it off or something. And then by the corner, there you go. Looks better. Okay. So that is the lip balm in the loose glitter. Looks very pretty. All right. Now you can stop it and then we can do um, the hair. Okay. Now what would I do? Let's go. Magically ready for the day. This was so much fun. I loved using the new Tarte Make Believe palette and their unicorn brushes because I feel like a real unicorn. I did that wrong. Shit. Yeah, I did. I did this way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay. So. Make believe. <laughs> Damn. Retry. Make believe. Magically, I am ready for the day. Hair's done. Jewelry's on. I had so much fun using the Tarte Make Believe palette. Very pretty. And all the unicorn and magical wand brushes, as well as some other things that are also in the video. I will link everything down below and my in my description box. And then if I feel like a true unicorn, guys. It's such a magical day. I'm so happy how this look came out. Uh, very bright and vibrant, very pretty, sparkly. Everything was really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little icing on the cake though. You can skip that out. I think I'm gonna use the Anastasia palette just to make my cheeks stand out a little bit more because I want it to be like very magical and very sparkly. <laughs> So sorry, you can re-say that at burp halfway through talking. I think I'm gonna use the Anastasia palette just to let my cheeks sparkle and stand out a little bit more. And I'm going to use my unicorn brush. I'm going to tap into the Forever Young color, a little bit of a purpley color. 
tap into there and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks oh yes I want to brighten that all up and highlight the heck out of my face yes 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 highlight highlight and then I'm going to use forever lit down my nose Oh, I love these brushes. They are so pretty and so soft. A little bit more. Okay, now that is a magical experience. I love the Milk Holographic Highlight Stick, but I feel like I need like more intensity. So I didn't use the glitter on my lips. I put some lipstick and I used the Urban Decay Bullet Back Talk. Very pretty naturally kind of pink color and I used that instead because the glitter kept falling off and I was like tasting it and it didn't really stick um so we'll try that again in the future with something else but I just use a little bit of glitter that you can buy at a local beauty store and it's just um, very holographic and blue and purple and it's very pretty but every time I stick it to something it just keeps falling off so all right guys, I had so much fun. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I have so many videos coming up um, and new things I'm trying. Please let me know what you'd like, my, like to see in my next video, what you um, think that I could have done differently. I am open to su suggestions. And then um, also, yeah guys, this was not sponsored. This was all for fun. Um, I bought all the products and I had a great time. Thank you for watching. This was such a magical experience. And don't forget, you're always a unicorn. So my overall review, guys, I think the shadows went on very well. I think the brushes are very, like, firm but very soft. And, you know, they're not made cheap. And the unicorn, like, just adds to the magical experience. And the colors are more um, shimmery than mattes. So I just love that. And yeah, so I think they did really good with the Make Believe palette and their Unicorn collection. Tarte knocked this one out of the water, guys. You, you should try it for yourself. Alright, guys. 